Article 25, and I'll entertain a motion due to the length of Article 25 that I, uh, uh, that the reading of Article 25 be waived. Is there a motion? Is there a second? Seconded by Mr. Emmerich. Uh, all those in favor of waiving the reading of Article 25, raise your voter cards, down cards, any opposed? Um, is there a motion to open discussion on Article 25? Yep. Moved by Ms. Woolsey, is yep. there a second to that? Seconded by uh, Mr. Griffin. Does anyone wish to be heard on Article 25? This is a aggregate of um, uh, human service agencies uh, with a total um, of $174,475 sought for the uh, human services agencies that are listed, and also a requirement that they report um, to the board, a written report uh, to the Board of Selectmen. Uh, yes, ma'am. You're going to go to the, uh, can you go to the microphone and, and state that amendment? That's your amendment, so. Um, Corrine Baker, 244 Exeter Road. I have an amendment for this warrant, which would read to amend Article 25 as follows. Change the 2016 funding request for Seacoast visiting nurses from $40,000 to $35,000 and add N68 hours of hunger for 2016 funding request in the amount of $5,000. All right, before you speak to that, is there a second to Ms. Baker's um, article uh, amendment? Seconded by Mr. Lassard. Ms. Baker, would you care to speak to your uh, sure. amendment? Sure. Um, currently, the Town of Hampton's $40,000 donation puts us in the benefactor category of Seacoast visiting nurses, which is $25,000 to $4,940. $49,999. I have a list of the um, donors for that. There's no, no um, problem with the visiting nurses. We have benefited from their services. They're wonderful. But I just think $40,000 is extreme. The towns of Exeter, Hampton Falls, Rye, and Seabrook are considered advocate donors, and they donate someplace between $5,000 and $9,999. $9, so because we gave 40000 last year, it doesn't seem that we should automatically get 40000 this year. I want to tell you a little about uh, the End 68 Hours of Hunger. It's a private, non-for-profit effort to confront the approximately 68 hours of hunger that some school children experience between the free lunch they receive in school on Friday afternoon and the free breakfast they receive in school on Monday morning. In October 2011, this was begun in New Hampshire. I'm not sure if it was Hampton, but I know it was in New Hampshire. And it, we began feeding 19 New Hampshire children. Yeah, Mrs. Uh, Ms. Baker, I, I'm tuning in a little bit late to your amendment. Yeah. And I'm going to take the position here. I thought you were um, uh, netting it out to another agency. You're adding a purpose here. I know we're talking about human service agencies, but you're adding a new agency. So I'm going to uh, rule that, that you can't do that. That's changing the purpose of this article. We've got these agencies um, listed. Uh, we've told people by posting the warrant that these are the agencies that we are um, uh, contemplating in Article 25. And we certainly can change that 35. We can certainly change Seacoast Visiting Nurses from 40,000 to 35. But you're adding, as I look at this list, a new entity here, mm -hmm. and as I understand it, you folks have a process where people come before you. So I'm going to rule this amendment out of order, uh, that it's changing the purpose of Article 25. That if you want to go forward with that part of your amendment that reduces SECO's visiting nurses to $35,000, I have no objection to that. But if you're going to add an agency that's not listed here, I'm uh, ruling that that changes the purpose. It's adding a purpose that there may be people out in the community who, who don't favor that. I mm -hmm. would find it hard to believe. I, I understand the agency you're talking about. But they wouldn't know to come out here if they wanted to get up and, and talk about uh, ending um, mm -hmm. hunger. So um, I'll, I'll leave it at that. If you want to uh, revise your amendment and just knock down Seacoast visiting uh, nurses to 35,000, I'll, I'll certainly entertain that, but not adding a new uh, purpose, a new agency to Article 25. Okay, well, the purpose for me of uh, reducing the amount for that agency was to provide the amount for another one, so that really becomes moot. So can I say that you're withdrawing your? I am. All right, thank you.
And there may be a process where you could get uh, agencies um, such as the 60 and the hour uh, on your list and, and, and part of the Warren article. But I think it's either um, petitioning an article to fund that uh, agency uh, by way of uh, 25 signatures separately. separately, too late to do it now, or working with the select board to, to get into articles such as this at so the outset. The budget committee come up with a list or does list the board of selectmen? Uh, Mr. Welts, could you just give uh, Ms. Baker a, a quick tutorial if, if list, you wanted to add a, a human service agency for consideration to this? Certainly, Mr. Moderator. The, the, the way it's currently structured is that uh, those agencies that are listed here uh, are on every year if they request funding. Uh, they get, get approved by the selectman. The selectman approved the warrant article. If an agency that's not on the list uh, wishes funding, then we request that they submit a petitioned warrant article. If that's then approved by the town, it will be added to the list the following year. Okay. All right, we're back on Article 25 as it was originally presented. Does anyone else wish to be heard on Article 25? Mr. Moderator. Uh, seeing none. Uh, no, I would like to you, speak. All right, Article I would just 25. Like to, I would just like to point out, um, you know, there, there may be a, what Mrs. Baker mentioned about uh, that Hampton has uh, the, a high amount for, like, for instance, the visiting nurses, the 40,000. I would just like to point out that Hampton also has the highest uh, age of, the average age of a citizen in Hampton is higher than any other town in New Hampshire. And we have a lot of people that take advantage of the, of the Seacoast visiting nurses, and I really think that they do a wonderful job, and I would just like to throw that out there. Thank you. Makes us feel a little bit older, Mr. Griffin, but. Uh... <laughs> well, we're, we have a lot of company. Yeah, I guess so. I guess so. Anybody else on Article 25? If not, uh, it will appear as uh, on the ballot as printed.